All right, about to get started here. Let's take a quick last sip of my Herbalife. All right, let's get rolling. We're on episode number 22 of Steve Says. First of all, here's our new, one of our new Peak Physique men's shirts on the back. I think it's no excuses on the back. Along with the blue pants, I look like a fucking Peak Physique Smurf, but whatever. That's the way it is. One of the, ton, there's black, tons of other men's tank tops coming in also. And women's shirts, shirt pants, all that other crap. Tons of new, whole new line of the PVZ clothes. Anyway, we're on no, episode number 22 of Steve Says. Today I'm going to show you how to discover your real reason for doing the things you do. And I'm going to take you through my personal seven steps to discover my own. You're going to literally go with me through those steps and show you how, how you could do it yourself. Talking about, I talk about it all the time about peeling back the onion, getting deeper to the center, to the core, to the bare bones of it. This is as deep and as real as it's going to get. Today you're going to find out your real reason why you're doing the things you're doing at the deepest level. It's going to show you this, and then I'm going to show you the steps needed to get there to create the life that you're meant to lead where the results and your health and your body that you deserve. We're going to go over all this and tons more. And of course, you know, we're going to have our little game, our t-shirt, because we'd like to give away t-shirts on the show. But last week I had a bunch of different times and they gave away like 11 fucking t-shirts. So the first person to get one of these things correct is going to be our t-shirt winner for the week. There's going to be like five or six or seven different chances for you to win it. First one to get one of them right, we'll win the t-shirt and then we'll see. We'll go from there, see how it goes from there. So, you know, we like, we like to play those word games. So whoever gets the first correct answer or the most correct answers, we'll see how it goes. So you, you guys know Peak Physique is not just a gym. We have, we have realized that already. If you're watching this each week, every week we're here Tuesdays at 2.15 or 2.15-ish, whenever we can get set up here. You know, we're a completely different type of program here that just happens to get you in the best fucking shape of your life. You, you can, who can tell me what type of program we actually are? We're not just a gym, we're not a fitness program. Who can actually tell me, here's your first chance to win a freaking t-shirt, who can tell me what type of program we are here? Results, strength, endurance, and weight loss, those are all just byproducts of the, the type of program that we run here. Who can tell me the two words that describe this program here at Peak? Who can tell me that right off the bat? Let's get this rolling. Who's got an idea about what our program is based around? What are we all about? How do we run the program? Again, how the results and all the training and, and that you get out of it and the weight loss, those are just the byproducts of what I'm talking about. Life-changing, no, not that clear. What's not clear? The voice is not clear? Can't see you. Can you guys see me and hear me? Someone said they can't see me. Life changer, no, that's close. I mean, not close, but long-term result, no. We're gonna be quick on these because we got a lot to get to. We got a little bit of a late start. Had some deliveries, helping some people out, some stuff. No excuses, no. Obviously, we live off those two words, but we're talking about the type of program. If you had to say what type of program it is when you come into this gym, what kind of program is it? Be a better gym for yourself than yesterday. We're actually gonna get into that later, but I said two words. Brian Cleary is still on some of that pain medication, I think, from his surgeries. Two words, two words. No video, very blurry. Hold on, let's check this out. We're back on, is that any better? We're back on here. Anybody, you can hear me, see me here? Yeah, so you had a chance to think of those two words. Hardcore, mental strength, no. Eating them like candy. Yeah, that's why you don't know what the freaking things are. You guys see me and hear me? The reason why that is, our internet goes out like every single day. It worked perfect. We have the highest internet you can get in the area. We had some new people we, we spoke about on the VIP page, not going to talk about it too much, that kind of moved into our building. And ever since they were here, our internet kind of is a little shady. And I've seen them doing some things in some closets and some different back rooms. So I'm pretty sure they're jacking our shit and, and we're going to have to take care of that because our internet has sucked since they moved in. So I know they're stealing our shit. Hear you, but blurry still. See you and hear you. Whatever, I'm going to keep going. Probably the blurriness of what you won't be able to see how ugly I am, so we'll be fine. But then you won't be able to see my cool shirt. Two words, quick, quick, quick. What kind of program are we here? Anyway, no one's giving the answer, so I'm going to tell you what kind of program. We are not a fitness program. We are not a weight loss program. Yes, we do get those things out of what we do here, but that is not the program we are. No one wants their t-shirt. Raj, oh, Raj, you're just joining. Let's see, Raj, you're going to get the answer? You missed your chance for t-shirt. The word, or the two words are self-development or personal development, if you want to call it that. 
Like I said, Peak Physique is not a gym. It's, this is a self-development program. Every day is self-development. So to say get yourself better than you were the day before, sure. Life skills, everything here is life skills. The definition of self-development is the process by which a person's character and abilities gradually develop. Personal development covers activities that improve awareness and identity, develop talents and potential, build human capital and facilitate employability, enhance the quality of life and contribute to the realization of dreams and aspirations. Personal development takes place over the course of a person's life. Raj, you're too late for the question. Don't worry, you're gonna get a few more chances. But personal development was the answer about what type of program we are. So what I took out of that definition, that official definition, is the realization of dreams and aspirations and how personal development takes place over the course of a person's lifetime. That's the official definition. So basically my version of that, my definition, basically what I'm getting at that, is every fucking move you make should be in line with your goals and your dreams and your aspirations and it should never stop until the day that you freaking die. I say it all the time. If you're standing still and not improving, basically you're just maintaining and you're fucking dead. You, you should always be progressing, moving forward, either improve or die is what you, the mentality you should be having. And that's what self-development, personal development is all about, whatever you want to talk, whatever you want to call it. So synonyms, again, for you brainiacs out there, your synonyms are other words or other terms that are, mean the same thing as self-development. We start with some that are a little closely related and then others also that are a little off. So just listen, just listen to these words that are the same. Self-construction, self-building, and self-study. That's what comes up as synonyms for self-development or personal development. So just listen to those fucking words. That's just some strong shit. Self-construction and self-building, constructing yourself, you know, into an unstoppable, unbreakable, positive fucking force, building yourself from the foundation up and reinforcing it, renovating it throughout your entire life. Self-study means actually learning and realizing and accept accepting who the fuck you are, where the fuck you came from, and where the fuck it is that you need to go, that you're destined to go. So fitness and nutrition and training and sweat and pain and the suffering you do here and busting your freaking asses day in and day out, those are all just tools that aid in your self-development. That's just kind of like the vehicle you're taking there. Those are the vehicles that lead to your self-development, making yourself better every day. Better today than you were yesterday. Or, you know, fuck that, even like I say all the time, better version, you know, Brian said or someone said it, better version of yourself every day. But I like to even think, I want to become a better version of myself every second of the day. This second, I want to be better than the fucking second before that. I just want to keep improving, keep dominating, keep moving forward, keep growing. So how do we go through the process of self-development in this gym? There's many ways that we do it, but there's four steps directly linked to, to the, that are linked to each other in order that will plant the seed and uncover to start building and nurturing, eventually growing and fucking exploding your own personal development, your self-development. I'm going to start with steps two, three, and four, and then we're going to finish with step one because I want to kind of reverse engineer things of these steps because step one is, the, is actually the one that will uncover all the rest and it ties them all together. So I'm going to stay, save step one for last. So we're going to start with step two. So what do, you, what do you have in you? What are you capable of? What are you destined for? That is our first word. First word, quickly, quickly, we got to move on. This is the first word of reaching you know, getting, moving forward with your self-development, your, your personal development. We need a word. We need a word. I'm not giving too many hints because any hint, more hints and you're going to know this word to be too easy. You need it. You got two seconds. Something that's greatness. No, you don't know you have the greatness yet. Greatness. They both said greatness. You guys hacked my old, must have hacked an old file. You thought great, the greatness is probably next week. You guys are always hacking my shit. Discipline. No. Of course, you guys always come up with good words, but we need the word of something, desire, no, strength, no. Something that is in you, maybe you probably don't even know it. You probably, I'm giving too many hints because once I give like certain hints, it's going to be too freaking easy. You probably don't even know you have it. You probably don't even know it's in you. You probably don't even know what you're capable of, but it's what you're destined for. Who's got it? Who's got it? Motivation, no. Initiative, will, no. All good stuff, but this isn't the stuff I'm looking for. Belief, getting a little closer encourage no you got like three seconds and we got to move on no one's going to get no one's going to get any t-shirts this week last week we gave away 11 self-respect no this is one word brian stop popping them praying killers that's that's two words we need one word i keep bending down just to see the see the camera there see the see the words so you got three seconds come up with it two seconds something in you ha have in you i'm gonna give you the last hint you're probably not reaching it you have one second because i gave you that hint and the word is Potential. Potential, the definition of potential, no one got it. No one got it. Raj, you're, you're letting me down, Raj. And where's Maureen? Maureen's been hacking my shit every week. She didn't get this one. Potential is a word. 
Definite potential is having or showing the capacity to become or develop into something in the future. Synonyms for the, of potential are hidden, likely, possible, probable, and then also future, imaginable, and undeveloped. Think about that. The word potential, the synonym for potential means undeveloped. So basically, someone's un, if you have potential, it's just known that usually potential is wasted and undeveloped. What are you doing here so early? You want a live show? You want a live show? Because I don't want to scare people away. They come in and they come in for information and they hear me up here spazzing out. I'm used to it. That's why I have a cheek. So there's some quotes that have to do with potential that we're going into. I hope you relocked it because we don't want to scare anyone away. You don't have to relock it. Whatever, it's fine. You think you're going to do it? Don't let this, here's some quotes. This one was Roy Bennett, I think. He had a book about all about potential, unleashing your potential. I forget the name of the book. I read it a long time ago. Do not let the memories of your past limit the potential of your future. There are no limits to what you can achieve on your journey through life except in your mind. Another quote, same book, same person. You learn something valuable from all the significant events and people. Can I help you? Excuse me, excuse me, can you, excuse me. Can you stop interrupting Personal us? Personal delivery for can you stop a interrupting us? salad here with triple chicken, nothing on it, directly from Smash. All right, you're, you're not letting me unleash my potential. You're interrupting my potential. Well, so the next guy, quote, this is a nice that's from chicken, one of our sponsors, Smash Burger, but you don't Look get the guys, fucking burgers. Okay, okay, we don't, we're else. short on time. We're short on time. Just get, 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 bring your food Smash in here. Smash Burger, salad, remove everything, all the crap on it. All right, the next one. The next quote, you learn something valuable from all the significant events and people, but you never touch your true potential until you challenge yourself to go beyond imposed limitations. The next quote, these are all quotes about potential. Challenge and adversity are meant to help you know who you are. Storms hit your weakness, but unlock your true strength. These are all about potential. There's nothing worse in this country than wasted potential, or even in the world, really, but it just seems to happen in this country a lot, I think. Probably in this area, probably in your home fucking town, right on your own street. I guarantee there's another Michael Jordan out there, a scientist out there that can cure several freaking diseases, a mathematician that has that you know, computer and calculator and a freaking abacus built into their freaking brain, but they've never unlocked their true full potential, starting with the lack of step number one, which we're going to get to at the end here, which we're going to get to, and also not following these following steps we come, we're going to come up with next, steps two and three and four. So a lot of times it can, it can be you know, back, back from friends and teachers and family or even your own parents that hold you back from reaching your potential. A little more of a cynical quote was from Jim Morrison. He said, the most loving parents and relatives commit murder with smiles on their faces. They force us to destroy the person we really are, a subtle kind of murder. So that's saying anyone can hold you back from your potential. You see it happening all the time. A lot of times you're fucking brainwashed from birth that you're supposed to struggle and it's normal to be unhealthy and poor and you should just be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not doing a video over here or anything. Yeah, you guys just keep chatting it up over there. Excellent. So, like I was saying, you're brainwashed from an early age that it's normal to be unhealthy and poor and you should just be happy for, happy for what you have. You know, that's just the way it's meant to be. And you're, you should be, you're lucky. You should be, feel lucky for what you have. And even if you don't, you know, that you probably don't deserve more, you're told. Or it's normal that you're destined to struggle. So I'll tell you, in my great words of philosophy, that's complete fucking bullshit. Every one of you has potential and greatness with your health, in the gym and your results, but also just in life in general. Anyone, anyone that holds you back or talks you down from your potential is not, just, is not on your team. And I don't give a fuck who it is, even if it's family, they're not on your team and they're not on your side. They're just clipping your wings, holding you down, trying to bury you for whatever reason. Maybe jealousy or fear, or since they never believed in themselves, now they don't believe in you. Well, I'm here to tell you again, fuck that. I believe in you. Our whole team over here at Peak Physique believes in you because I've seen these near miracles happen every single day in this fucking gym. Every single day for 15 years now. People doing the impossible, doing things they thought they never could do. People doing things that they were told they were never could do by their friends and their family and their doctors and their teachers and whoever else tried to hold them the fuck down. Things because they had, they had those self-limiting thoughts and boundaries imposed on them, never allowing them to even come close to their true, full potential. And I keep saying their full, real, or true potential because true potential, is, it's different. 
Because even when someone thinks they've reached their full potential for the first time, it's like, oh my God, this is so amazing. That, you know, there's probably still so, something there from the past or whatever it is that's holding them back. This new level seems so great to them and seems like the best it can be until they have another breakthrough and then fucking explode to their true potential, which is the next level. Because the, the, best, the best is always yet to come. And there's always something beyond it. Even if you think you reach your potential, I guarantee you haven't gotten to your true potential until you kind of blast through that, that barrier, that ceiling that you created for yourself in your life at least two or three times until you get to your true, true potential. So the next, next word we're going on to is step three. Step three of the self-development, what it's going to take for that self-development. And so th- this is the type of environment that's needed to help someone realize their potential. So who can give me that where that word is? You got like three seconds. We got to keep moving on. We're a little behind the clock here. The type of environment, the type of atmosphere, the type of place, the type of whatever you want to call it, gathering, the, just the, almost a mentality that you need to help you, you know, realize your potential. Almost that support system. Who can give me the word? The word, one word. Supportive? No, that's one. That's in there. Supportive? No. You two keep answering. Two people keep answering the same freaking thing. One word. One word. Something that we live off of in this gym. If you know our core values, they're right up here on the wall. If you know our core values, it is number, on number six. It says results are important, but not as much as something else. Experience and something else. If you know that word, it's not energy, it's not friendly, it's not peak, it's not positive. Those are all good words, but that is not what it is. Who can give me the word? You got three more seconds. Results are important here, but not as important as this one word that we create in this gym. And I give you too many freaking hints and you lost your chance for another t-shirt. Raj, you are failing me today. You must have too many t-shirts. You don't have more space in your fucking closet. The word is, no one still has got it. You guys suck. Culture is the word. That is the type of environment we've created here is our culture. Our, obviously, it's a different type of culture. You could have you know, good cultures, bad cultures, I guess. But we created a positive, supportive, team, family-like culture here. The definition of culture, since we're on this freaking definition, the act of developing, developing the intellectual and moral faculties, especially by education. It also means expert care and training. It also means the integrated pattern of human knowledge, belief, behavior, that depends upon the capacity for learning and transmitting knowledge and succe- of succeed- to succeeding generations. Don't try to answer the question now. It also means, there's so many different ways you could think of the word culture, the customary beliefs, social forms, and material traits of a racial, religious, or social group, characteristic features, everyday existence, such as diversions in way of life, shared by people in a place or time. It also means a set of shared attitudes, values, goals, and practices that characterize an institution or organization, the set of values, social practices associated with a particular field, activity, or society characteristic. What are you doing? Uh, the guy who did the floors told me when it lifts to take pictures and send it to him. Well, tell that motherfucker it lifts like a hundred times a it. day. So he said take pictures. So, I'm doing so that is what culture means. So the main part of those definitions that stands out to me was the, it, when it said the characteristic features of everyday existence such as diversions or a way of life shared by people in a place and time. So that's obviously the official The official definition, you know, I always have to give my peak fucked up freak version of it. So, you know, all these describe peak physique basically, but this is really what we're all about. A diversion from the fucking bullshit out there in the world and all those fake fucks and stress and jealous assholes and the news that you're watching and the negativity. We are a diversion and escape, a way of life shared by all these different types of people brought together at this specific place and time to help and motivate and fucking inspire each other to break through their barriers and discover and, and reach and even blast beyond their true potential. So we see how it's all tying together. The potential is going right. The self-development is about the potential leading in to the culture. The peak free culture is all about breaking through those boundaries and those barriers and doing this by working on self-development, realizing your potential, have a culture to escape to and support you, then going on to step number four. Again, step one is what's the, is mapping all this out and tying this together. We're going to get to step one last. So next one is step four. Does anyone want a freaking t-shirt? We've realized our potential. We've trusted the process of the culture. So now we need to know what we need to do to get to where we're going and where we need to go and where we want to go. So what step do we need to make to hold ourselves accountable and to get to where we're going? This one word here, one word we need to do. Maybe two words, or really one word. Give you guys like three seconds because we've got to move on. 
Got three seconds, three seconds, three seconds. What do we need to do to hold ourselves accountable to, you know, reach that potential? Rituals, effort, no. I can't give you, there's one hint I can give you where you're going to get it immediately. Something you need to have, something that is measurable. I'm trying to let someone win a freaking t-shirt today, but no one wants to win it. Routine, no. Discipline, no. I'm giving you like three more seconds and we're moving on. Oh, now you want to, you want to come on camera? No, you didn't win. It's not teamwork. You're right here. You should be figuring it out. You have a live front, front row view. Something you need to do, maybe? You need to have something to work towards? Jesus, I could just fucking, how much more could I say? Huh? This is just because it doesn't count because they have, to, it takes time for them to type it in. You can't just say it out loud, but give them three seconds. If they don't get it, then you got it. Because I just gave it. I couldn't give you any more of a hint than that. Oh, no problem. What? I got it? Yeah, you got it. Yes, I got a t-shirt. Yes, I got a t-shirt. T-shirt. It was goals, but yeah, you guys all said it too late. Our people live got it before you. So, yo, oh, now all of them are typing goals in. Yeah, after she yelled it out. They hear me? Huh? I wouldn't go that far. So goal setting is what it's all about. Here's some quick, a quick quote on goals is always dream and shoot, dream and shoot higher than you know you can do. Do not bother just to be better than your contemporaries or predecessors. Try to be better than yourself. That's what we talk about all the time, right? Another quick quote is always believe in yourself and always stretch yourself beyond your limits. Your life is worth a lot more than you think because you're capable of accomplishing more than you know. You have more potential than you think, but you will never know your full potential unless you keep challenging yourself and pushing beyond your own self-imposed limits. That's all, like I said, all tying in together. It's going from the self-development, is, it, it's bam, 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 all leading up to number one. So how to set your goals? Your goals should motivate you. They should have a meaning, a sense of purpose. They should be in line with your, your number, the step number one that we're about to get into, which we're going over next. Your goal should be one of the driving forces. There's an acronym for goal setting, but we're going to tweak it a little bit. Go, you, they say your goals should be smart. You should be smart in your goal setting, meaning they're specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. So specific, yes, you should have specific goals. Yeah. Measurable, not necessarily. In the gym, of course, your weight loss is probably going to be measurable goals, but it's not always in fitness training. You might have something, a goal like, you know, to be positive in all situations and not let things drag you down. That could be your goal. So it's not, not necessarily measurable. So that can't be measured. But the main one that we're going to tweak is attainable. Like we talked about with potential, you, you have probably been programmed to set your goals that are realistic and possible. You know, to me, the words realistic and possible are, are just words are just for fucking weak people to use and scared people use and lazy, jealous fucking haters use. So don't disappoint yourself, you know, when you, when you fail, because anything more than just a little bit of goals, you don't have it in you to achieve. That's what you're told. So once again, the, you know, great words of wisdom, fuck that. Put those goals a little standards a little higher. So those are the same type of self-limiting thoughts that you've been programmed into that already fucked up your living and living up to your true, true potential. So now we, we know better and that shit won't hold us back anymore. So set your goals and time frames for your goals, but cut that time in half and then double your goal, whatever your goal was. Then cut that time in half again. And now you're probably a little closer to your true potential and what you're actually poss- probably capable of, you know, once you've learned to break, the cha- break those chains off that have held you back your entire life. So set ridiculous goals, impossible goals, unrealistic goals, and make that shit possible and realistic. But by, work, by working on self-development, operating your true potential with unbreakable fucking persistence, being part of a positive, supportive, crazy freaking culture, setting goals that are fueled by this step number one. Step number one, put, what's it all together? Who can tell me what step number one is? It is one word. It is three letters. It's an easy one. You guys use it as your answer every week, but we haven't talked about this in a little while. Who can give me it? I don't know what you guys are talking about. The J is silent. Anyway, who's got it? Steve Owen, why? Obviously, that was the easiest question you've ever had. Steve Owen said, why? So we're going to talk about uncovering your true why. We, have, we talk about t- people all the time about what's your why, and you get a quick answer, and, and then they just satisfy with that. I'm never satisfied with that. Another quick quote. Difficulties and adversities viciously force all their might on us to cause us to fall apart but they are necessary elements of individual growth and reveal our true potential. We've got to endure and overcome them and move forward, never lose hope. 
Storms make people stronger and never last forever. So we talk about it all the time. What's your why? What's your why? This is what we live off, what, we, what we're fueled off of. Why do you want to work out at Peak Physique? Or why do you work where you work, do the work you do? Or why do you have the business that you run? You can ask yourself why, but I guarantee you the first answer is far from the fucking truth or far from the real reason of why. I'm going to teach you how to, how to uncover your deepest, truest why all the way down to the fucking bone. You need to be, you know, kind of an annoying devil's advocate. Just keep asking yourself why and why again. And they say it usually takes seven times to get to the, to the real reason. You know, when you keep breaking it down, answering based on what your answer, asking based on what your answer. I do this all the time at our seminars and our orientations and people think I'm just being a dick. Well, I am a dick, but not in this case. So I ask them, why are you here today? And they usually give you a generic answer like, oh, to lose weight or to just, you know, get healthier, but that's not good enough. Then I'll ask them, okay, why do you want to lose weight? So you take their answer based off of that and answer them another why, another why, another why. So you get to the real reason. So uncovering this sometimes can be fucking painful or shocking. And once you really start to discover some truths about yourself and why you really actually are doing what you're doing. You can have someone play the devil's advocate and continue asking you these whys based off your answers, or you can just, you know, to take it to the deeper next level. I don't have any freaking friends, so I have, to, I have this conversation with myself, so I'm gonna show you what my conversation that I just had this morning with myself looked like. So it says, why did you choose to open this gym, Peak Physique? That is the devil, devil asking me. Why did you choose to open this gym as Peak Physique? So the answer is, Oh, you want a front row, front row view now? You're on camera. You're on live camera. Huh? Where's my t-shirt? Yeah, I'll stop this right now to go get you your freaking t-shirt. <laughs> so the first question, you got to break it down at least seven levels to get to the real reason why. Whatever you're talking about, why do you want to lose weight? And now bam, 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 and break it down. So my first, the first question to me, why do you choose to open this gym, Peak Physique? The answer is, I felt like there's a huge disconnect in the commercial gyms I was working at. The atmosphere was fucking dead and lifeless. So I wanted to create an awesome place to train for people to come to lose weight and get in the best shape of your life. Okay, so here's the devil question number two. So why do you want to help people get in the best shape of their lives? My second answer, I think a lot of people need help and think they can't do it on their own or that it's impossible or they're told they can't do it or they're told that they don't, are not capable of doing it or that they don't deserve it and I want to help them realize their true potential like we talked about earlier. There's so much bullshit out there that, and people can't sift through the bullshit to get some real results and, and real measurable results. So the third question coming in, okay, so why do you feel the need to help people reach their full potential? So my third answer is, I think they need a place to feel comfortable where they fit in and are accepted for who they are and that's what it will take to achieve their goals and the greatness within themselves. So question number four then, okay, why do you think you need, a, why do you think they need a place to feel comfortable and fit in to reach their goals and their full potential and greatness? Answer number four is, that's what it took for me to take things to the next level in my life before, before I never fucking fit in anywhere in my entire life from the playgrounds when I was a, a, a two, three year old wearing a Zaro mask to hide from all the other kids to elementary school where I didn't have any of the cool toys or bike or cable TV, never was able to reach my full potential in high school where I had no friends and I was the only one who didn't want to do any drugs so I didn't fit in there and then after high school I didn't fit in jail with all the criminals who just didn't care and didn't care about nothing else until I joined the Marine Corps is when I finally fit in somewhere and that is when my true potential and greatness started coming out. So then question number six or five, I don't even know what one we're on. Why do you think it took joining the Marine Corps to start living your full potential and start fitting in? Answer is, I felt a sense of family, camaraderie, and a full support system, literally to the fucking death. I had great leaders and mentors paving the way and carving, carving a path, forcing me to live up to my full potential. Like you had no choice but to live up to your potential there and become the person and the leader that you're destined to be. I would still kill or die for any of those Marines to this day, whether or not I've seen them recently or not. So the next question, why do you feel it takes camaraderie, support, and leaders who feel like family to reach a great potential and forge you into a leader? Answer is, as a kid, I never had that support or leadership or team, so it was always me against the fucking world. I, I, I was never complimented or appreciated or mentored or shown the way for me to find my direction or purpose or to find my calling. So the last question, answer number seven, now, last question number seven, how, do you do, how did you use that childhood or lack of leadership and support to become the leader you are today? So I looked at everything my father did in work, in fitness, in family, in money, in alcohol, and in gambling, and I discovered I need to do everything the exact fucking opposite way that he did to be the person that I'm molded that I am today through my adversity since childhood and the lack of friends and everyone that was against me from a young age, I would prove to my fucking enemies, I would prove them wrong rather than me just 
failing and being a sloppy, deadbeat, broke, hungry, angry loser that I was expected to be my entire life. I would be a savage, a killer, a hunter. I would be strong, fast, fit, conditioned, positive, fucking motivated, dedicated, trained, killer, inspirational, with morals. I will lead people and help people to break through their shells and their boundaries that their childhood or their past or whatever has trapped them inside of. I'll be the exact opposite of what my father showed me and I will be the, exactly the person that my son wants to become. So when it breaks down to it, it took me seven levels to dig deep to find out what the real, my true why is, is for my son and my kids to see me as a role model and to be someone exactly who they want to be like, the exact opposite of how I grew up. So a quick recap, because we got to get out of the way so they can start this class and there's too many people here, I'm going to start scaring these freaking people away. Oh, my huh? Your fucking t-shirt. So the recap was, we're talking about, this is not just a, fit, a fitness program. This is not just a weight loss program. Of course, those are byproducts of what we do here. And you will get that out of this. But we are a self-development program. It is fueled by your why, which I just showed you how deep you need to go to figure out your real reason why. Why are you doing anything that you're doing? And then it's a, to, do, to work towards your why, you need to unleash your full, your true potential, which again takes going through two or three levels to get to your true potential and realizing what you're capable of then building a supportive, family-like, freak fucking culture like we have at Peak Physique, and then setting impossible goals, unattainable goals, and then smashing the hell through them. And that's what it takes for self-development to make yourself better every second of your life, better than the second before it. If there's any questions, you can put them in here, and I'll answer them on there, but I gotta get out of the way, so we gotta get a class started, and I'll talk to you guys later.